Hi everyone, this is Frank Westfall here, and in this video I will show you how to change your Windows network profile and turn on file and printer sharing and network discovery. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more computer tutorial videos. First I will show you how to change your network profile on Windows 11 and then how to do it on Windows 10. They are in slightly different locations for each operating system. And finally I will show you how to enable file and printer sharing and network discovery on both Windows 11 and Windows 10. Enabling file and printer sharing and network discovery is the exact same process for both Windows 11 and Windows 10. If you want a deeper understanding of Windows network profiles and why they matter, stick around to the end where I explain them in detail. For now, let's change some settings. So I'm just going to minimize that so we can start from scratch. To change your Windows network profile on Windows 11, you want to go to the search box and type in settings and hit enter and then go to network and internet and then up here there's a properties tab and this is where you can change it click on that and you'll see this is set to a public network right now but I'm actually on my home private network and if I was trying to communicate with a network based printer in my home right now I would not be able to. So I'm going to switch this to private and that's all that's required to change the network profile. Now I'm on a Windows 10 system and here's how you change the network profile on Windows 10. Go down to the search bar again or search icon if you don't have the bar enabled and type in network and then click on network status and then click on this properties button and here you'll see basically the same options that you see in Windows 11. They're just in a slightly different location on Windows 10. So I'm actually already on a private network and it is my home private network so I'm gonna leave it. But if this were set to public and I was at home, I would wanna switch it to private. Okay, now that we've changed the Windows network profile on both Windows 11 and Windows 10, I will show you how to enable file and printer sharing and network discovery on Windows 10 and 11. It's the exact same process for both of these operating systems. Go to the search bar again and type in control and then click on control panel and then go to network and sharing center and then advanced sharing settings and then go to private network. There's a little drop down arrow here and if that is turned off, you want to turn this on. Turn on network discovery and then also turn on file and printer sharing. And this will ensure that your computer can see other devices on your home private network and also that you can communicate with those devices such as printers or file shares. Then hit save changes. I mentioned in the beginning that I would explain network profiles in detail, so here it is. First of all, what are network profiles? Windows network profiles are basically security settings templates that Windows automatically sets depending on what type of network Windows thinks you are on. There are three types of Windows network profiles, domain, private, and public. Because this computer is not joined to a domain network, it's not showing the third type of network profile. But if you were on an office computer that was joined to a domain network, you would see domain as one of these options here as well. A private network profile will be set if you are on your home private network and a public network profile will be set if you are on a public network such as a coffee shop or airport Wi-Fi network. Windows takes its best guess as to which type of network you are on and then sets the network profile according to that guess. The profile that it assigns affects the level of security while you are on that particular network. This means that your security settings are different depending on what type of network you are on and they may change automatically when you switch networks. For example, a coffee shop or an airport Wi-Fi network would both be considered public networks and Windows will assign a public network profile if you are on these types of networks. 
a public network profile has the highest security settings because the risk of security issues is greater if you are on a shared public network with untrusted peers. The private and domain network profiles have lower security settings because these are typically higher trust environments with a lower chance of encountering untrusted peers. And as I mentioned, it is important to know about network profiles because some of the computer's functionality will be limited if you are on a public network. For example, file sharing and printer sharing is not allowed on a public network. If Windows makes a mistake and thinks you are on a public network when you are actually on your home private network, it could mean that your home network printer or other home network devices such as network attached storage or smart appliances won't be available to you. When you are on a trusted private network, you don't want your communications to be limited. But when you are on an untrusted public network, you do want your communications to be limited. And if Windows mistakenly sets the wrong network profile, now you know how to change it. So that's it. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching, and please consider subscribing to my channel. Bye for now.